A sad loss for us all today with the passing of Ian Ross, a great newsman and much loved colleague. To those of us lucky enough to know him, he was a warm, generous and loyal friend. And to you, his beloved viewers, he was the man you trusted to bring you the news with effortless authority and wicked humour. They spent about an hour here. In death, the eulogies are invariably glowing. What is remarkable about Ian Ross, no one ever had a bad word to say about him in life. A long 50-year career in the media. I think because of the man, because his humour, because he was warm, he was unassuming, he didn't, um, he didn't put on turns or anything. Roscoe was an endangered species in an industry which can be less than generous. He was mischievous, he could be wicked on occasions, but always lovable. Today's hearing began with Mr Belanto QC seeking permission... Roscoe spent 37 years at Channel 9, the black and white days, one of the first on the road reporters. Ian Ross reporting from Central Court. To colour, when white suits were the rage. If you think he still looks great now, check him out then. Here's Roscoe. Thanks, Tracy. Good morning. In the 90s, Roscoe joined the Today Show, presenting the morning news. What have you got there? My pool was perfectly clean before you arrived. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> you can't, Roscoe. Look. That's where the wicked sense of humour showed up. Hendo, do you think people were actually seeing the real Roscoe during those exchanges? Yes, I think so. I'm positive. He wasn't that much different. That, that Roscoe that was on the morning show was pretty much the Roscoe that is, uh, was wandering around. Weatherman Monty Dwyer was the man who prized Roscoe out of his serious newsman shell. Some cattle farmers in Michigan have come up with what they think is a winner, cow racing. Seems a little unkind to me, Mont. I don't think cows were meant for riding, were they? They love it. No, they really do enjoy it. Yeah. They let you know, did they, yeah, yeah. they enjoyed it? Mm. Have you ever ridden a cow? I have, as a matter of fact, a couple of times. It's funny, they always... <laughs> <laughs> Behind that facade, and I'll, I'll call it a facade, was a very, very wicked sense of humour. And that's what we enjoyed, working with him. At any given opportunity, he'd jump on something and Hello. make you laugh. Hello. He was a very funny man. Host at the time was Steve Liebman. You know, in television, you can't fake it. Because the audience isn't foolish, and they'll spot a, they'll spot a fake. And we just clicked. Thank you very much. <laughs> when Roscoe left the Today Show for Channel 7, a member of the family was leaving home. It's been the best 11 years in my working life, and I love you all. I'm going to miss you very, very much. Good evening. He led Channel 7 News to ratings gold, leaving after six years. In December, Roscoe was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. In February this year, his last visit to Sydney, a lunch with some old mates including Nine's long-time newsreader, Brian Henderson. How did he appear to you? Just his normal self. I just take my hat off to him for that. That was so great. He handled it. Handled, if you handled news of your imminent death with aplomb, he certainly did. Former Nine reporter Barry Matheson first met Roscoe in the 60s as they banged out scripts on their typewriters. He never once complained, even though he knew he was dying. We thought that was amazing. Today, Roscoe's longtime partner, Gray, issued a short statement. We have lost a much loved partner, father and grandfather, who won a legion of fans during his time in the media. For your trust, Roscoe for your was in tears when he shown. delivered Me his last sign off. Years. I wish you all good luck and good health. So I'm Ian Ross, and for the final time, thanks for your company. Good night. Now, it's good night and thanks. To TV's good guy. Mark Burroughs, Nine News. All of you and all of us will miss Roscoe very much. Here's Sylvia with the weather. Thank you, Pete. This morning's rain was a...